Researchers and representatives from the social partners and government participated in the conference from part-time to full-time in Reykjavik on the 12th of November. Normally we get together for conferences and we listen and then we network in the breaks. We're bringing the conversations to the conference so we can network and harvest uh, what comes out of these networks that are usually on the coffee breaks. Part-time work is common in the Nordic countries, especially among women, and that affects both their pension and their economy. Nick presented the research part-time work in the Nordic region in Stockholm last year. The second part of the research was presented in Reykjavik. The focus is on why so many women work part-time. Part-time work could be described as a decisive element in many women's coping strategies in an otherwise unhealthy life and work situations, say the researchers Ita Drange and Katrin Egeland. Part-time work uh, might be a problem, but the problem is more uh, all these kinds of um, uh, expectations and uh, discourses on what a normal uh, good life is for women and men. Many people from the labor movement at the conference didn't see part-time jobs as a problem if only they were distributed equally between men and women. But obviously they earn less and they have lesser possibilities to rise to top positions when they are working part-time. One of the best things that we could do, uh, both regarding gender equality and the well-being of children and the well-being of the population as a whole, is a general redu reduction in, in, in working hours. So, so, so perhaps we, we, we should try to uh, work for a reduction more down to what is now regarded as part-time, you know, 35, 36 hours a, a, a week. If you work shifts, if you work uh, in hard work, it's not possible to work more than 80% job. So it's a question of re redefining what is a full-time job for these sectors. And there are, we are talking about women-dominated sectors. We are talking about caregiving uh, public sectors. I know from Fairway's research that about 20% of Fairway's women want to work more than they already do. I think that the opportunity to work full-time should absolutely be the first thing. And uh, that means that the um, employers, especially in uh, the um, uh, social and, and healthcare section, they need to plan the work so it is possible to work full-time and to make the shifts longer. They have actually shortened the shifts. Magnus Lindström has been participating in a work group in Sweden where trade unions and employers work together and try to create more full-time jobs for women. I think we have the same agenda, but we can't avoid that we are representing the employers and the trade union is uh, representing the employees. Of course, the trade union wants more regulations in the collective agreement that ensure everyone to have more hours. That's a great issue for the trade union. But uh, we do have the same uh, effort in this working group that more people are going to work full time. Providing parents with equal rights to care for their young children in Iceland has proved to be a convincing argument for gender equality. Fathers that have taken a substantial part of the parental leave, they have a tendency to reduce their working hours. They want to spend more time with their children and their, uh, and their family than those who have not taken parental leave. I think many Nordic countries uh, are looking at Iceland in that sense because uh, re researchers can show that uh, after that it was changed in Iceland, men are working a little bit less and women are working a little bit more. So it's not equal in Iceland, but it's more equal than before. The parental leave is still far too short. There's a there's a, there's a gap uh, from the end of parental leave up to the time that, uh, that uh, uh, children are allowed into kindergartens. Uh, and we see that uh, it's 
more mothers than fathers that bridge that gap by adjusting their uh, participation in the in, in the labour market. Uh, so this gap has to uh, has to go. At the end of the day, Bosse Parbring was satisfied with the harvest from the conference. One experience shared here in the conference is that uh, it could be possible that employers and employees organizations meet and uh, that they work together for making it more possible to, uh, to work uh, full time. If they share the same goal that it should be good, <laughs> so then it's possible. So uh, I, it's also possible to work with uh, collective agreements in, in that sense.